Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Peggy from the Paper Bumblebee. I hope you're having a good one. I am sitting here in the Netherlands and wondering what you guys are doing. So drop me a comment down below and tell me all about it. Today I wanted to share with you guys a digital kit that I made. This is only for my own use and if you're interested please comment down below and I can put them in my Etsy shop or in my Kofi shop. Yes, I've got a coffee shop. Please go check it out. It's linked down below in the description box. And there are some freebies for you guys as well. You can download for free. Then um, what I've done, I did uh, some pages of Austria. And why did I do that? Well, because we are going skiing for a week in Austria. And I really did want to make... Uh, a signature of Austria so I made a signature of Tessel that's a place here in the Netherlands where we went on holiday I, w I made a signature for Germany when we went on holiday or not a holiday weekend uh, in Germany and now we're going a week to Austria and I thought I have to make a signature for in my travel junk journal so I made these papers and I wanted to show you guys and these marks on here is what I made to make it a little bit more interesting. I didn't want just the image. So these are the pages that are going. I think I want to use them all into my signature of Austria. We are also going to Vienna. And I hope to meet someone special there. I am in conversation with that person and I hope to meet her when we are there so I will of course journal all about it and I hope to take some pictures as well this is all what I have done <coughs> this as well this is all my doing beautiful pictures but I wanted to a bit more interest on here this Austrian flag beautiful mountains then this is a map I thought that was interesting put some snowflakes on there and then the beautiful flower you can find in the mountains sometimes I also added some maps this is just a street map and this is more zoomed out so you can have more uh, more ground covered and then this is the whole place we are going we're going to grass and that is about 200 250 kilometers from vienna where we will be going for one day to visit and this is the road we are going to travel and that's 12 and a half hours so we're going to do that in two uh, two days so we're going to sleep over somewhere in an hotel and then travel the next day to Graz and then Vienna is over here let me just let me show you so here we are going to stay for a week and we're going one day to v uh, Vienna and that's about uh, two and a half hours drive two and a half three hours drive so that's completely doable this is where we are as well and this is how we are going to drive to Vienna so I'm really excited about that and I hope that the meeting will go through and that we are able to meet another little page just for fun another one just for fun maybe this is a good one for the meeting and i also printed it with only the two girls and nothing else thought that would be cute they can cut it out and use it individually if you want to and i've got another one here and just some scenes this can be like a journaling card that this as well maybe a tag some beautiful stamps that i just they're not really actually stamps and they're quite big so some gloves winter cabin where we will be staying i think 
and just a little fox for I think they will be foxes so just some winter clothing beautiful little scarves and gloves and hats and um, cardigans some skis and ski passes skiing men and everything needed and then when you go to Vienna you've got uh, the crest and uh, I don't know bust from someone important I think and some sausages and then again the flowers and these I want to use for the places where we've been so then you can just glue them on and a pretzel love them and just some paper clips again the flag and that is the same building that I have on one of the first pages but then in real this one so this these two there's two of them and, and then this is Austria and just uh, uh, the name and a pretzel again and two little guys there that I can use as well so this is what I'm going to take I will be making the signature now with you guys and I will all wear, and I will also be cutting out all the ephemera not with you guys I will do that off camera so that I can use those so before I start making the signature I wanted to share with you guys something else that I bought this I bought locally and I thought these are just so adorable some stamps they are from the action sorry guys I can't link them they are only available in at the action so they are beautiful stamps of these beautiful creatures this is some beetle look at this beautiful dragonfly love it then we've got this old gramophone beautiful ship okay that's a bit damaged but I don't care I've got the stamp and then this adorable little birdie so I'm, I just wanted to share with you guys these beautiful stamps I bought and they are like 99 cents a piece so really cheap love them okay so I'm gonna start by adding some other papers first of is I've got this map from an atlas actually there are two and I was thinking of gluing them together and making pockets and that this can be the front of my signature or the outside and everything else can go in here so I think that's what I'm going to do and um, this red dot here is Vienna and this little little red one is grass and that's where we're going so that is cute that it's on the front and the back then I'm gonna add a piece of canvas so that I can maybe do some painting or I might even just use it to as a journaling page then I want to use uh, add some music papers I want to add a doily I want to add a little um, city sleeve for it's really cute to add as a pocket and I also want to add this envelope so that I have some more extra pockets I've got a piece of vellum I want to add and this uh, packaging paper I received I'm not sure I think this might come from Barbara uh, when she sent me uh, a book just a uh, kids book and I think I want to add this I also want to add a lot of um, coffee dyed papers so that I have some blank papers that I can write and I want to do a lot of pictures and ephemera and that sort of stuff so now I'm going to assemble so I've got my outside and I have folded all these papers that I want to add uh, yes, except for the little envelope and I think I will fold that and maybe 
just clip this off so that I can use this as little pockets. Fold a little vellum paper and you don't have to fold it in half. And I'm thinking, what should I do with this? And this is really nice paper. It, I don't know, it feels, it's, it doesn't feel like paper paper. It feels like it's plasticky, I don't know. So this might be like a little booklet that I can add, like so. And I might even do two little tuck spots. We'll see about that. And then I'm going to take my papers that I have printed and I am going to glue and I think most of them I'm going to glue some coffee dyed papers and some I will be, be uh, gluing back to back like so for this is a writing spot and I can write something there or put some pictures there or ephemera so that will be nice so I'm gonna do that off camera you don't have to see me um, gluing and then I might even do some sewing we'll see and I will be back when I have put it all together okay guys so I have made my signature and it is one signature that contains three little ones it's gonna be a signature this the whole thing it's gonna be a signature in my junk travel junk journal and I made uh, three little signatures in one for it's gonna be uh, every signature is going to be a country or a place that I visited so this one's gonna be Austria as I said on here just made a little cluster with my Dymo I made uh, the name Austria this little one and I love it for it gives that really vintagey feel I used uh, a real map from an atlas and they are two on top of each other for a little bit more strength and I've sewn around every page in this in this uh, well signature booklet thingy and we are having sewn the our pockets to put in some brochures or tickets or whatever I'm uh, going to collect. Before I'm going to show you, I'm also going to take this uh, little booklet that is a flower press. If you want to see how I made this, I will link uh, this video for you guys down below. I hope you go and check that out. This is so useful and easy to take with. You can open it up, you can see it is used already, put some flowers in there and then close it up again, make a tight little knot for it to press nice and easy and you can take it with, you don't have to take, I've got a flower press and it's not that big but this can contain more flowers you can take it with you in your handbag if you want to you can take it everywhere I'm going to take that with and then I'm going to take this with and I wanted to put uh, as much uh, stuff I, I could that I want to take with for example paper clips and some cheesecloth and everything that I might use in the journal itself or in the signature so like you see here, it's a little uh, ball pin that I put on a little clip. So then I've got a ball pin if I want to use one. I've got a, a ball pin to clip in some um, brochures or tickets or whatever I wanted uh, to keep and collect. And on the inside. Okay guys, on the inside. Firstly, on this page, I've got a big pocket on top here where you can put stuff in. And then on top here, where the clip is, I put just a piece of lace. 
and a piece of ephemera and just a little baggie and some more fabrics that I might be able to use in this uh, signature and I just put a paper clip here with nothing for if I've got anything to clip I can clip it underneath there this is sewn around and I have put about every page I put a piece of trim and on the bottom here for this snowman I thought it looked like snow and then this is the first page love this then I put an envelope as a pocket and I put in some pieces of trim that I can use and and I will be decorating everything later on and I've got a music page some vellum and then this is a pocket as well and I put in some just a white napkin so that I can if I want to put some white napkin over something just to give it more texture I love that feel so I put some in there again if you want to use it you can also just do it with a glue stick and then it will be fine as well then another clip and of course the pocket here then we've got all the pages that I am going to use when I am in grass this is also top pocket again a paper clip plenty of space to journal and the other side of that uh, map top uh, pocket here's a top pocket as well some journaling spots enough actually I want it enough uh, space to journal another pocket vellum music paper and the other side of the envelope I put in some cheesecloth and I had these cute little cards I thought I'm going to take some with me, with me so that I can if I want to journal on here or uh, play with some inks on the whatever I want to and stick it in here and then again a pocket and this is uh, the last page of this signature then I'm going to Vienna and I made a smaller signature of that I'm going to do a lot of sightseeing and I'm going to meet someone special and I wanted to put it in a separate little signature so again a paper clip and just some beautiful papers this is I think I had I got this from Barbara when she sent me a book as I said before and I did uh, put in a lot of papers for journaling a city sleeve where I can put some nice stuff in there and when we're in the city I'm gonna see a lot so I've got more buildings and stuff in this signature another paper clip a pocket enough writing space again top pockets journaling paper clip I am hoping to fill this up with some beautiful pictures that's not a lot of interest in this little signature just a lot of writing space and then I made another signature for when I'm from Indiana I'm going back to grass and I'm gonna journal in here again so back where I was and I can continue and I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it like this I might even do two signatures so put this together with the other one and I'm not sure and I'm gonna put in some brochures and stuff so this is going to change for sure uh, this is a piece of canvas if I want to paint or draw or whatever I want to do with it I thought that would be nice to have uh, this is a side pocket, I think. I did not sew this. No, that's not a pocket. Okay. And that was... Here's another pocket. The third signature in my big signature. And then the back page is a big pocket as well. And what I put in here is all my ephemera I didn't cut it out I just made it smaller pieces put it in an envelope and I'm gonna put it in there and I also took one of my favorite stencils and I'm gonna take that with me 
is I want to do some stenciling. So I've got loads of stuff with me that I can use. I'm just going to take a, a pencil case. This is quite a big one with the stuff that I want to take. For example, pens and um, my sewing kit maybe, some glue stick and all that kind of stuff that is important. My acrylic block, maybe a, a punch for the corners. I'm not sure yet, but I might take that. And that is my signature for Austria for in my travel junk journal. I might even put some more of these bolt pins on here and I am loving it so far so I'm going to take that with me and of course my flower press booklet and then some oh, I think the pencil case and some smaller uh, stuff that I want to take for example I think I want to take my dymo um, and I want to take uh, my little printer. I've got a new one. My old one, I don't know where it is. Couldn't find it, so I bought a second-hand new one for a nice price. With a load of paper. I'm going to take that with me. For, I'm going to print the pictures as I go. I think that would be cute. So I hope you liked this. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.